Bee Swarm is a game built around bees. You need them to defeat mobs, make honey, and progress in the game. Which leaves us wondering, just how far can you get in Bee Swarm without bees? Is Bee Swarm without bees even possible? Well, in this video, that's what we're going to be finding out. Alright, so here we are in a brand new account. I guess like any other Bee Swarm video, we'd claim our hive, and then we're gonna hatch- Wait, no. Okay, wait, we can't actually use this basic egg. I guess this is literally just gonna stay in my inventory for the rest of the video. Oh, that already feels weird. Alright, I guess our first goal is to get this Black Bear quest done. Oh, wait, there's actually some micro converters over there. If you didn't know, these are gonna be extremely useful, and you'll see why in a second. There we go, three micro converters. Alright, what do I need? Sunflower pollen? Dang, it's so weird not having any bees with me in the field, but I have a feeling this video is gonna get a whole lot weirder. Alright, there we go, Black Bear quest is done now. Alright, well now my backpack's full, so let's just convert our honey. Oh, shoot, I can't convert my backpack. Okay, this is kind of a problem, and now you guys can see why this episode is gonna be so fun. Now, I would use my micro converters, but it's not really worth it, because I'm only gonna get about 200 honey from it, which only leaves us with one other option. Yeah, I have a feeling this is going to get very annoying very quick. Oh, this is such a pain. All right, well now honey is kind of like the most important thing ever because we can only get a limited amount because if you didn't know, as an early game player, there's no such thing as instant conversion. So the only way for me to get honey is either from quests or my bees. And I don't have bees. I might be like, oh, well, there's a couple of quest givers that you can get pollen from. Yeah, here's the one problem. Talk to Mother Bear. Yeah, no, this quest is pretty easy. All we have to do is feed a treat to my bees. Just a singular treat to one of my non-existent distant bees. And then we have to raise it to level two. Yeah, Mother Bear's literal garbage this episode, okay? You have officially been demoted to the most useless bear in Bee Swarm. Oh, jeez, what happened to your animation? Guys, Mother Bear is a stone-cold statue right now. Her legs are phasing into the floor. She saw me doing the no bees challenge and just couldn't handle it. Let's see, how much is the next egg gonna be? All right, it's about a thousand. Wait a second. Why am I looking? I don't need basic eggs. Okay, well, on the bright side, we don't have to waste money on basic eggs anymore because we're straight up not gonna have bees. Oh, wait, no, there's sparkles. Dang it, I can't collect them. It's not like there'd be any point, though, because all this is gonna give is sunflower seeds and royal jellies, and, uh, I really have no bees to feed them to. All right, well, that's dandelion field done. I guess we kind of just turn in our quest now. All right, there we go. Got that done. Now, while I did say that sunflower seeds were gonna be useless because we don't actually have any bees to feed them to, that's not entirely true, because if you actually head on over to the shop, you can see that some of the items actually cost sunflower seeds to make. So this is the only way I'm actually gonna be using those treats. Actually, while we're in the shop, we should should probably buy something. Okay, so our honey's really, really precious, so actually, I think we should use some codes. Let's see, wax. Yeah, 5,000 honey? That's overpowered for me right now. That's the equivalent of doing, like, six black bear quests. So I guess we kind of have to take advantage of these codes, right? All right, here we go. All right, there we go. Just a couple of codes later, and now we're at a cool 15,000 honey. All right, what should we actually buy over here? Okay, let's for starters buy the vacuum. And that's it, actually. All right, cool. Now we got our brand new vacuum cleaner to help us out. Reset our character. Oh my gosh, 500 pollen. We're gonna need to reset our character like three times to do this quest. Actually, I feel like we should use a code to help speed this up. Which is why we're gonna use the sure code, which gives us a dandelion field boost. Times three, might I add. All right, hopefully this makes things a lot faster for us. Oh wait, and while we're doing this, we should probably claim the only only other bear's quest we're gonna get. That'd be none other than Brown Bear. All right, Brown Bear, give me a quest. Oh, look, it's a moon sprout. That would probably take an eternity to break because I only have 200 backpack space. Oh, geez, and even Brown Bear's bugging out. He's got the same statue stance as Mother Bear. Just looks absolutely dead inside. Dude, what happened to you? All right, reset our character. You know, it's kind of a pain having to commit the self-harm on myself every single time I want to empty my backpack. Oh, dang, I filled up in one swing. It was at this moment I randomly discovered a game-breaking glitch. Wait, am I collecting pollen while I'm dead? Wait, how'd I fill up my backpack? Did you guys see that? Hold on, hold on. So I fill up in one swing, and then if I reset my character, I can keep collecting while I'm dead, and I'll spawn with a full backpack. I think we just found a glitch in Bee Swarm. All right, we're gonna test this out for real now, because this might actually be a really overpowered way to complete quests. Let's see, if we go over to Sunflower Field, as you can see, our backpack's completely full, and it maxes out at 200 Sunflower Field pollen, but if I reset my character and then keep collecting, it still goes up. I'm literally, look at that. There's just an indent in the field, and now I spawn with 168 pollen in my backpack. Jeez, I could make an entire video on this on my main channel. This is like one of the craziest glitches ever in Bee Swarm, and I'm just using it for a no bees challenge. All right, well, that makes it a lot easier to complete quests now. Let's go. I completed half of that brown bear quest without even setting foot in the field, and now we can turn these in for more honey. Oh, wait. Oh, oh yes, yes. Instant conversion. This is our one way to get instant conversion. Oh my gosh, look at this. We're getting so much honey per second. Oh my gosh, festive blessing. Okay, festive gifts are a little overpowered right now, but one thing I just realized is we might not actually need to get any more backpacks, because if 
I can just keep collecting pollen using this glitch, it doesn't actually fill up my backpack. Therefore, I can actually spend money on valuable things like helmets or gear that will actually give me instant conversion. All right, just exploiting bee swarm. Nice and easy. Seems like Black Bear wants red pollen right now. All right, let's see. I think our next goal should probably be to get some sort of new gear. Let's see, how much is the new helmet? Oh, wait, another festive gift. Okay, okay, here we go. Speed, go, 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 go. We need to get as much honey as we possibly can. Yes, yes, we're getting so much free honey from this. Thank goodness. Oh my gosh, we just went up like a thousand honey from that festive gift. Oh no, there's a free treat right there. And it's gonna disappear by the time we get to it. Okay, wait, I'm just gonna quickly complete this Black Bear quest and then let's see what we need for the helmet. Boom, and we completed it. Not gonna lie, this is kind of the most overpowered glitch I've ever found. Oh my gosh, I feel so noob compared to all these people. You guys think you're so good with your bees? I'm broke. Poor. I literally have a royal jelly, but I don't have a bee to use it on. Here, bro, I'll use it on your hive. All right, let's see. Can we actually afford the helmet? Okay, the helmet costs some moon charms, so we have to wait till nighttime. Ooh, okay. It seems like this belt pocket might actually be worth it because it gives some more capacity, but also convert amount. Wait, no, convert amount's useless. Never mind. But I mean, we might as well get it anyways, right? All right, let's reset our character, get some more honey. Hey, guys, this is kind of a stupid idea. Okay, so while I am farming quests like this, it is a good way to get honey, but it seems like codes are going to help us out a ton because it's the only way we can really get instant conversion. So if I just use the code one Emla, oh my gosh. Okay, we got capacity. Gosh, we are collecting so much honey. Okay, Black Bear's done. That gave us a super smoothie buff. Okay, this gives 12% instant conversion. This is really, really nice. Yeah, we kind of have to take advantage of this code as much as possible. All right, mushroom field. Let's just fill up our backpack. Man, we barely get any instant conversion, but we can complete it and just reset our character again. And hey, we're only like 3,000 honey away from getting the belt. All right, let's get some blue flower field pollen, reset our character, but still finish the the quest. Man, this glitch is overpowered. Let's see, what boost do we even have? A times two capacity buff? Oh, times two convert rate at high. Wow, that's so useful considering I have no bees. Yeah, no, my only method of converting my pollen is just resetting my character. All right, well, now we can turn in this black bear quest and hopefully we'll have enough honey to get the bell. Dang, and he only gave us 1,000 honey. Oh, shoot, wait. We might have a little bit of a problem right now. Black bear wants us to get bamboo field pollen and bamboo field is right there, but I can't actually get over to bamboo field because I don't have five bees. I can't get five bees. This is a no bees challenge. You guys decide. I have two options. I can either A, just call it a day and end the video now, or I can maybe break my rule a little bit and get five bees so I can unlock bamboo fields. What's the correct answer? Trick question. The answer was C. It's burglary. We're breaking into the five bee area. Oh shoot, wait. I can't defeat the spider. Okay, we need to be really careful when collecting from fields because these mobs exist and we can't actually attack them. Alright, reset our character. Alright, seems like we're gonna be doing a lot of fence hopping in order to get this quest done. Dang it, why they make it so hard to hop this fence. It's almost like they didn't want me breaking the rules. All right, and just a little bit of burglary and self-harm later, the Black Bear quest is done. And we did it all without even unlocking the 5B area. If that ain't impressive, I don't know what is. And hey, after this, I think we can afford the bell. Yes, we can. All right, let's go claim that belt. Just run over here. Yes, give me the belt. Yes, the belt pocket has been crafted. I love how we're doing all of this with the starter backpack, yet we already hold 15,000 honey. Kind of overpowered, if you ask me. And you know, because we have so much capacity, I think this is the one time in the episode where I think it's actually worth it to use micro converters. Oh my gosh, wait, we got a silver egg and we can't even use it. Why does this game torture me like this? Oh, dang it, we need spider field pollen for this one. Let's see, are there any codes that give spider buff? Aha, yes, the weak extension code. All right, we're gonna have to be pretty stealthy when doing this boost. Wait, it's invalid. Bruh, not cool. Oh, there we go, we got it. Oh, shoot, and the spider's right there. Okay, spider, just don't mind me. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna grab so much honey. You know what, let's just use a marshmallow bee for the heck of it because it's not like we're getting to end game like this. Well, this is kind of the strangest boost you've ever seen. We're basically just running around dodging all these attacks and trying to get as much honey as possible all without any bees. Yeah, this is what a no bee boost looks like. Oh my gosh. Okay, this spider is doing some serious damage right now. Okay, guys, I have one idea. It's kind of stupid, but if I use a stinger and then I use a coconut, can I get the coconut to land on the spider? No, I can't. It's too far away. Well, on the bright side, we're using our first micro converter. And oh my gosh, guys, we just hit 100,000 and honey. All right, I'm gonna quickly step out of the field. All right, well, we can use the club converters code for 10 free micros, and then we can use the wink code, which basically just gives us a black bear morph, which is really good for getting some free honey. <gasps> oh, instant conversion. Instant conversion. Please, I need this. I need this. No, the spider's gonna take me out. Please, please, please. Yes. Oh my gosh, look at how much instant conversion we're getting, guys. This is so overpowered. No, the spider might kill me, though. All right, let's use another micro converter, and hey, let's use some gumdrops for fun, giving us some extra instant conversion right now. 
now. No, 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 no. Okay, guys, I'm at really low health right now. Why can't the spider stay away from me? Oh, dang it, my cloud just disappeared. All right, let's use another gumdrop. Oh my gosh, I'm so low. I'm so low. This is not good. Come on, dude. All I want to do is a simple boost. But hey, on the bright side, we just hit 300,000 honey. On the not so bright side, if I get hit once, we're done for. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, okay, we need to heal up. But while we're healing up to do this boost, we're going to use the marshmallow code, which gives us one hour conversion boost, which is honestly really useless. Bees buzz one, two, three, which gives us a cloud vial. Wait, we can use the band code and it gives us a spider code buff. Let's use the cubbly code. 10 M members. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're getting so much honey right now. Oh my gosh. What is happening? Guys, we are getting so much honey. Auto gumdrops. Let's go. We only have about 30 gumdrops, but hey, we're going to make them count. Dang, are we making a lot of honey? We're at half a million. Oh shoot. The spider got really close to getting me there. Ah, uh, run around, run around. Okay. Just barely saved it. No, 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 no. There's 50,000 honey in my backpack right now. And I really don't want to lose that. 600,000 honey. Let's go. All right. If the spider hits me one more time, we're going to need to go heal up. Okay. Heal up. Heal up. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Okay. That was too close. Let's go see if there's any other good codes. Ooh, there's Finxia's toy box, which gives us a jelly bean. Uh, Darza doodads. All right. Go, 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 go. Come on. We got to do this fast. Uh, we're going to use our two cloud vials. Actually, no. Oh gosh. We're so close. We are so close to dead right now, but we are making so much honey. Dang. We have times 10 precision. Only I had something to get rid of this spider with, and we're almost at 1 million honey. Come on. Uh, we've got this. And I think after we convert my backpack, we should have... No, we're so close. We're only 10,000 away. All right, come on, come on, come on. <gasps> yes, fireflies. I need a moon charm. No, but I'm almost dead. Come on, please, please. I need this moon charm. Come on, spider. Get out of the way. Why is this so annoying? Okay, let the spider despawn. Go, 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 go. Let's get the moon charm. All right, firefly out of the way. Yes, we got a moon charm and we hit 1 million honey, which means we have officially earned our honey badge junior. We are a millionaire. Let's head back through. Oh, yeah, I can't go through this door. I mean, we might as well stay in this field until the spider either takes us out or we fill up our backpack. Oh, wait, jelly beans are so overpowered. Of course, we didn't get a white jelly bean in the white field. Oh, and would you look at that? We're one hit away. Well, we might as well use a micro converter before we die. Run, 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 run. And safe. And just as a celebration for all of our hard earned honey, let's buy the boots. Let's buy the helmet. Gosh, I have this disgusting yellow color on. And to top it all off, let's finally buy a backpack. Jeez, what am I going to do with all this honey? I literally have 1 million honey and nothing to spend it on. Well, quickly, let's first turn in this black bear quest. And you know, just for the fun of it, let's spend all 1 million honey on basic eggs. Basic eggs that we will never use. And just like that, in literally under 40 minutes, we got 15 bee eggs, which is about the equivalent of 15 bees. If you see these people on YouTube that are like, oh yeah, you need a spicy bee to get 25 bees in an hour. You need to spend Robux. You honestly do not. I literally managed to get 15 bees in less than 40 minutes without using any bees. Really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And this was kind of a pain to make. You might as well subscribe. I'll probably make more stupid challenges like this in the future. With that said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.